Okay. Um, do I take the draw or do I play for more? Fudge it. Let's... Yeah, yeah fudge it. Let's think for a second. What do I want to play? I, actually, this is 10-0. I got to be fast. Okay, this is 10-0. I have to move quicker. I can't be slow. I forgot. I forgot. There's no, there's no increment, so I actually have to be really, really fast in this game. <laughs> I'm going to play C4. I guess I'll play this in Queen C7. I don't normally play this, but it's the first round, so I figure it's it's better to be loose at the start versus later. So, I mean, if I lose this game, I lose this game. I'm trying to be wild, but I feel like it makes more sense. It's 10 0. I got to remember that. Now, H5 is kind of a weird move. I don't know if it's actually playable. Like, I take and play Bishop C5. I guess it's got E5. I've ar I'm already off to a very poor start in this first game. I don't like my position at all. I'm going to go here on Bishop B7, though. Very, 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 very poor start. Let's go. Uh, now, I can obviously take and play Bishop C5, but I'll go here. Thank you. Appreciate it. I will probably have to mute um, mods if you can mute my um, mute my notifications. Should be right, yeah. Yeah, okay, everything looks good. Yeah, it's all good. Okay, let's go. I think some bishop c5 is a reasonable move here. I know it's great, but I'm going to do it again. It's 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 kind of a very weird format time wise because sometimes I want to move fast, but then you also have to budget time correctly. So it's kind of a weird format. Of course, obviously, you guys I don't have chat open either, so whatever. So if you ask questions, I won't be answering. Actually, maybe it's an emote mode only for all I know, but whatever. Okay, let's go here. I can obviously trade. Castle's an interesting move. I'm wondering about d5 at some point. So let's just castle. Takes, I'll just take with the queen. Okay, so he does do this. So the question is, can I actually play d5? This is a million dollar question. If I can play d5 here, then I'm completely fine. I can also take E3 and play D5. E5, Bishop C5, BC5, CD, CD, ED5, Rook A, E, Rook A, D8. Hmm. D5 is my first instinct. I just have to make sure that it works. I can also trade and play D5. CD5, ED5, Knight A4 looks bad though. So I don't want to do that. So takes and D5 is bad. So I can't do that. So question is D5 or do I have to find some other random move? Like D8 maybe. Rook FD8 is not such a bad move here maybe. Hmm. But then he has Bishop F4. And then some Knight A4, B4, which I don't love. It seems like the right... Hmm. It seems like the right move though. Yeah, I think it's the right move. So I'm going to go for it. Now I can take. Yeah, I think I just take. Pre move is a safe pre move. Sorry if I'm eating you guys, but uh, I have been streaming already about like what, three, three and a half hours, so I do need to eat a little bit of something. Let's see what he does, though. I mean, it looks relatively okay, but I, I could be missing something too. I could be missing something. Okay, 95, 95, 85. Rook A, D8, it's, it's probably just a draw. Ah, B4, takes, 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 not so easy. Hmm. See what he does. 
So he takes, so I mean, if I take with the queen, he takes, that's losing, so only move. Actually, I undid the pre-move, that was a mistake. I lost a few seconds there. Now, which rook is a question to have, fd8 or a d8? My instinct is this must be right, because rook b8 is still an idea, as is rook c8, so this has to be the correct rook. A bishop c4 takes, 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 queen d5 is good. Bishop c4, knight d5, bishop d5. Takes, takes, queen e5, queen e3, queen d5, that should be fine. It's only going to be a draw, but a draw, I mean, for first round draw, I guess is okay. I don't even know what top it, I don't even know what the top eight score was when I, um, when they played last week. Although maybe 88 was better because he does have 94 here. 94 is maybe interesting. Okay, so I just take, I mean, this should peter out into a draw pretty quickly. I mean, maybe I even just offer him a draw here, but no, nah, why not? Let's take, yeah, I, I think this is going to be a draw. Queen c3, queen b6, I mean, queen c5, queen b that. Not a great first game, that's for sure, but it's probably okay. And queen c3, queen b6 takes, takes, I mean, just rook c2, just dead draw. Unfortunate. Probably will play odd though. Because maybe he has a slight advantage because of the pawn weakness. Okay, yeah, he plays on. I, I actually thought he might play on. I have c4, I have queen b6. Let's go here. So if he takes, I just take b2. A D1. I have bishop e6 or c4. Question I'm trying to figure out is there some way that I can play this for a win? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Uh, maybe I can check in. Oh, uh, no. Check is queen d4. So, yeah. Bishop a6, h5 or something. Uh, I should have played C4. I think I should have played C4 right away. Um, hmm. Yeah, this will just be a draw. I guess I have to go here and make a draw. Oh, maybe I can take... No, then he takes some queen e3. That's no good. Yeah, this will be a draw. Yeah, it's queen b2, bishop a6, rook a8 should be a draw. Maybe h5. I'm going to play h5. So if he goes bishop f1, I have a rook c8 move. Actually, maybe rook a8 was... Oh, maybe h5 was a blunder by me. Maybe it was a mistake, but maybe not, because I still have rook d2 here. Might have been slightly wrong. The thing is, he's getting in the zone now where if he doesn't take a drop, I might actually try to flag him. What a way that would be to start this event with a flag. Reddit would go so mad. They'd be so mad if, if, if I play his first game and I flag, I flag a draw in position. They'll lose their minds. They'll be back to hating me like, 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 uh, like they were before, before I played in, um, in Berlin. Looks pretty. It looks, looks, looks dry though. I think he's got to force a draw, and he's got to do it pretty soon. Because if he doesn't do it soon, 
there is a real chance I'll try to cheese him. Because I, I feel like Dayak is generally one of the slower players. Uh, he's got this one, and uh, he's got this one, and you can just repeat. Mm -hmm. But there's no increment, so I can actually do the tickle tickle, I think. Wait, no, Queen at one allows Bishop F1. I do have Rook D1. Wait a second, I do have Rook D1, Bishop F1. Wait a second. Un momento, por favor, senor. Um. Okay, actually, he's got no. T okay. Okay, I think I'm just gonna do the check. He burns an extra 20 seconds. Now I now is the question. Because Bishop one allows Rook C8, and it's still a draw, but... He's still thinking. He's in trouble now. Okay. Um, do I take the draw, or do I play for more? Fudge it. Let's... Yeah, yeah fudge it. Fudge it. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Let's see what he's going to do. King F2, Queen F6 is my idea. I think he's going to play King F2, but... No, he doesn't. Okay, so now I go here. Okay, Rook F2. Now, the thing is, I mean, I have H4. I mean, I still have Rook... I have Rook C... I have Rook C1 also, though, so it's quite tricky. Okay, now I think I go Rook C... Oh, I blundered Queen B4. Shoot, that was a mistake. Now it's just a draw. Or wait, no. Oh, it's Zoox. Is it Suksvang? Do we have a Suksvang? Wait a second. We have a Suksvang. Is this a Suksvang? Because he put the pawn on h3. Wait a second. Wait a second. I think this is a Suksvang. Suksvang. Okay, let's go. Do I go g6 or f5? Wait a second. Okay, I'm up time. g6, f5, g5, rook f5. Is it F5 or not? F5 must... I think F5 must be right. Because G3 takes Rook here, I go here, and then King G2, I have Bishop D5, and I win the game. Now, Rook F3, I can tickle tickle him even. Yes, he blundered. H3 was a... Okay, now, do I go Bishop E2 or not is a question. I think I should. I guess to go Rook F2. Now I go... Here, I fix the pawn, and now Rook F3, I just run my king over, I think. Let's see what he does. Because <laughs> if G3 takes King G2, I always have Bishop C6. He just, he boxed himself in, but he still has Rook F2, F3 forever, and that's where I have to see if there's some way to win. But I think I run the king over, I eat the pawn, and I come back all the way over, and I win the game. Go here. here I think I should go wait King C70 is Rook C no but then I just take that go here go here I think I'm winning but I could be wrong because G3 I just take and again he's just he's Zugzvang I know I'm saying it wrong but whatever all the Germans in chat can yell at me all they want now if I go here Rook King here, g3. Still tricky, though. Maybe I have to run the king over. So 
Let's go back. He's got no time, so I think... Oh man, it feels like this should be winning somehow. Let's go here, I guess. Because Sheether, I still just take and I go up and I have bishop c6 at the end. I think he still has to st stick around and wait. He's also got one minute. Wait, but now I go here? Now, okay, now I feel like I'm winning. But it's still very tricky. Yes. Go here. We'll just go here. Now he has to go here, and now I eat the juicer, and I think I win the game. He's a little bit too slow. I think I go here. He's also got no time. G3, I take, and then I take, and this is winning, yeah. Yes, yeah, so this is winning. Because now I got the king in, I take the pawn, and then I walk the king back, I trade it, and I would just win the game. GG's. He's got 45 seconds, too, so now I can definitely flag him. Yeah. We're gonna get a dub. Good start. Very, very good start. Very good start. Excelente. Mucho excelente. Mucho, mucho, mucho. Excelente. Yeah, he's also got 27 seconds. He's just gonna flag here. Excelente. Now I think I just go here. Oh, is this still a draw? Wait a second. Wait. We can still wait. Is this actually a draw? I have king f1 there, f3. No, it's not a draw. No, it's not a draw. I have f4, f3. Hmm, let's go. Let's go. Uh, second webcam is only required for the... um. For the uh, for for tomorrow for the knockout. So okay. Let's see what Peter's gonna play here. Okay, all pretty standard so far. Peter's deep in the tank. I don't really know why, but he is. Okay. Everything looks good. Good. He plays D3. So I guess if knight C6, he wants to take. So there are a couple ways black can play black can play this. I'm just gonna play one of the many ways here. I'm actually not gonna play knight C6. He's gonna keep playing rook C1. So at some point, I mean knight knight C6 is obviously a move. I actually had a game, I think, in in um in Germany in the Stone Age in this with Knight C6. And I mean it's not great. For white, but it's kind of hard to prove. But you know what? It's kind of hard to prove, but you know what? I'm going to go for it anyway. Because I, I had a game in daily chess with this, actually. And I got steamrolled in that game. So I'm actually going to... I played this with white against someone in daily chess, and I got steamrolled. So I'm going to do it in, in return here and see why it's supposed to be not so great. I'll go here in f5. Actually, I think bishop d6 was wrong. I think... Eh. Well, oh, right. Let me close, let me close the Meltwater games. Before, I mean, this is obviously completely reasonable, but I think after f5 takes, takes. I'm trying to remember how this goes. I mean, there, there are a couple ways that I can play this, and I'm completely fine. I just have to pick one of the many. Which one do I want to pick is the question. Which one do I want to pick? Knight d5 is also, I think, completely fine. I mean, bishop h3 is also, I believe, a move, if I remember correctly. But like, bishop g2, or I think bishop h3 and queen d7 is also a line. Thinking too long, though. Let's see which one I want to play. Queen b3, bishop d7. Who do I want to go for? Huh. So many options here. I'm gonna play one of the more dubious ones, I think, with Queen E8. Queen D7 is also, I think, completely fine. But I'm gonna play one of the more dubious approaches here with Queen E8. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
Again, this is 10 oh, there's no increment, so I do want to kind of move uh, a little bit quicker, I think, in general. It's generally going to be the plan. He goes bishop c5. I don't think that's actually a great move. I mean, I'll give him a pawn here. Okay, plays queen b3 instantly. I don't, I don't understand. Like, why do you play it so fast? Did I blunder something? Knight e5, bishop d5. Hmm. I'm willing to gambit a pawn here. I'm not actually that concerned about a pawn. Okay, castles, I kind of expected something like that. I think... I can play bishop e6 and f6 maybe, which is probably fine. Actually, bishop e6, d5 looks more than fine, I think. There's queen e3, bishop d5, and I think I'm just fine. I guess I'll pre-move this in case he does it. I don't think he will, but maybe. I go here. I think I'm completely fine unless I'm crazy, because now I also have f5 as a big threat. In fact, why didn't I just play f5 here? Why am I so stupid? f5 here is just, I think, a good move. Although he goes knight e2. Now, f5, I guess he wants e4. I don't really want to play f6. I don't really want to trade either. I should have played f5 in one go. I don't know why I didn't do that. That was very stupid of me. Still probably fine. I'll also just take on f3 and probably draw. I'm gonna do something probably dubious here again. I'm gonna play f6. I'm gonna try to play somewhat dubious and keep the keep the flow alive where it's not so simple to play. So I figure eventually Peter probably will make a blunder. Um, so I'm gonna. This is gonna be the game that I'm gonna try to win with black. This is the big game that I'm gonna try to win with black. So instead of playing more like solid here and trying to force a draw, I'm gonna tr play a little bit more on the edge. A little bit more on the edge. Like, F6 probably is the best. F5 is probably completely fine. I think even Bishop F3 and E4 probably is more than enough to force a draw, but I'm going to play on the edge. So I figure if I win this game, I should qualify. It takes. Very interesting. Um, is it really? He's just going to grab a pawn. Interesting. Okay, now I can't take with a rook. If I play pawn takes... I'm not afraid. He's going to go E4... I'm really not, somehow I'm just not afraid of this. I don't know why, maybe I should be, but either I'm very much miscalculating this line or I'm completely fine. I don't know which one it is actually, that's the problem. Seven, queen, d6, trade, trade. I mean, that looks fine. Hmm, just be careful how I play this though. Also, I do have rook c8 there. Hmm. No, then queen a7. Don't really want to think too long here, but... I'm just going to play here, and probably rook c8 and just play. Trade queen d7 and d5. I mean, I know this is great for me, but I, I really... For some reason, I just don't really buy this. And I figure I have d5 here next move. I, I mean... I don't know how good or how bad this is, but I just refuse to believe this is that bad for me. But I feel like I've got play. I have bishop h3 always to put a, put pressure on the king side too. I'm not really feeling this for Peter. I don't really think this is right. Although he has something that I did, did miss. Kind of. Although it's I take on d4 and still only draw. Time is still balanced relatively, so it's not so bad. I'm just trusting I can activate the bishop on one of these diagonals and put pressure on the king long term. But I'm definitely going d5 next move, 100%. d5 and f5 are the breaks for the counterplay. One of them has to be right. He goes rook c1, of course I go d5. If d5 
I take and I have bishop d5. I mean, this, I just don't believe in this for white somehow. I feel like Peter's kind of bluffing a little bit. I've got a great pawn chain. I mean, the extra pawn is pretty useless. It's a pawn on a2. It's not doing much. I mean, this looks quite scary to me. Knight b3, I also have like bishop h3 or bishop g4 before he can get the fork. So he's up a pawn, but if he can't do something fast, I think long term there are going to be real problems with these uh, light square weaknesses around the king. Just a guess, but we'll see. We'll see if I'm a prophet or if I'm just making stuff up. Yeah, he plays h4 trying to basically prevent stuff from happening. Yeah, I kind of expected something like that. I can even maybe go h6 and g5. I mean, I'm trying to find something that feels uncomfortable for white. I mean, queen f7 is a very standard move to play here, which is probably one of the best moves, so I'm going to do it. Because now I always have pressure. I'm like, worst case, I can take and take a2 and make a draw. Absolute worst case. But I just don't really buy this for white somehow. Doesn't mean I'm going to win this game, but I don't really think I'm in danger of losing, which is generally what you want. You want, you want positions where you can win or it's a draw. Now, I can obviously take... Um, the question is, do I take on e4? It's a big question. Very big question. My instinct is that I should. On the other hand, I kind of want to just go like h5 and bishop g4 or something. I think I'm going to go h5 instead. I suspect h6 g5 is better objectively, but whatever, as the saying goes. I also really want to put pressure on the clock as well. Just don't see real danger here because I have bishop g4. I and mean, he can maybe try b3, but takes takes bishop g4. I just, I don't really believe that white can be better. Okay, so he goes queen c3. So he, he he's willing to give me the pawn back here, which I'm not surprised by. Or actually, do I even get the pawn? He has b3. So maybe that's not so smart by me. Hmm. Actually, maybe I misplayed this. Hmm. I guess I'll, eh, I did misplay this. So I'll go here to sort of solidify. And maybe I take, I misplayed this. I did actually misplay this. Probably I should have taken and gone bishop g4 and tried to make a draw too, but whatever. Let's go here now, I guess. I just realized if I went king h7, he had d4 takes takes, and there was a very nasty knight fork uh, from, from f3 and f3 and e4, so that's why that's why I'm not going king h7 here. I think I should have actually just probably gone bishop g4 or just taken and gone bishop g4 because then I had queen a2. I think I was supposed to take and go bishop g4, but the game goes on. And again, I'm up on time, so. It's a little bit tricky for Peter to play here. At knight h2, I have bishop b2 to hit the pawn on d3. So it's kind of a little bit iffy here for white. Okay, king g2. Now I can go king h7. And d e4 is a move also. I think I'm just going to go here though. Because now on d4, I think I can just take maybe or take on f3 or something. Okay, it goes queen c5. That's not the move I expected. I mean, I guess I'm going to have to take at some point. So let's take and go here, I guess. I'm going to take and I go rook d3. Pressure on the knights are kind of stuck here a little bit. Now I have queen g6 and queen e4. I mean, it's a little bit scary for white. Like rook c7, queen g6, rook a7. I, I mean, I just take and then I take e4. Kind of scary for white. Because either Peter has to find something immediately here or else he's actually in real danger. I wonder if queen, oh no, queen g6 hung knight e5, so this has to be right. It's rook d6, wait a second, wait, don't I have queen e, wait a second, I have queen e7, rook c6, queen d6, oh, I mean, this feels really questionable, wait. So if rook d5 I take, and if rook c6, I think I have queen d8. Oh, I just blundered this, shoot. Or did I blunder, wait, I have king h8 maybe? King G8. No, I blundered this. Shoot, I just blundered. Or wait, no, I have King G. Wait, no, wait, I have King G6 maybe. Oh, I'm very lucky. Ooh, I'm super lucky. I did not see Knight G5 at all. I'm so lucky. Oh, <sighs> maybe I had King H6 too. The more I think, no, King H6 is Knight F7 actually. So, oh, I'm very lucky. I actually did not see Knight G5 or K6 at all. But I think I'm gonna win. I'm very lucky. Yikes. Yikes. Big yikes. But I am gonna win now. That makes me wonder did he have some tactic here? 
No, I guess he didn't. I mean, I guess he just didn't have any tactics. Yeah, I just win here. So this is good. Okay. Big, big win here. Big. No, I think I play... <clears throat> I think I play the fish, yeah. I don't think there's anybody else that I can play, really. I think it's just a forced pairing. Still blocked? Yeah, of course, still blocked. I tried challenging him earlier, and I couldn't challenge him. <clears throat> I have an insane tiebreaker. Yeah, my tiebreaker is great. So probably even theoretically, if I lose, I'll still qualify. But I don't want to take that chance. Okay. Um, I guess I'm going to go knight f3 here. I'm going to take a different tack. <clears throat> Actually, no, let's go e4. Let, let's, let's, let's be more traditional. Be more traditional. All right, let me minimize everything, of course, obviously. <clears throat> Plays knight six. Okay, I'm gonna play the Alpin. This is what Magnus himself played against me. <clears throat> when we played before, takes knight a three, of course. D4, knight b5 is still pretty standard. Plays e6. Now, e6, I believe, is slightly wrong, I think. I think e6 is very slightly wrong, because I can take the pawn if I remember this correctly. Because now there's a check. I think this is slightly wrong, but I'm not certain, obviously. <clears throat> yeah, he does that, so I trade. Go here on bishop d6, maybe, or bishop g3. Actually, bishop f4 is not a great move by me, although I can maybe just castle. Of course, Fabiano draws this game quickly um, to get to six and a half out of nine. Okay, so drop zone gets to six. So a draw does guarantee me, um, does guarantee me top eight. But I think, you know what? I kind of want to play for some reason, which probably is stupid, by the way, but I do. It's going to block, and then maybe I have knight g5 or just bishop g3. Threatening knight c7, of course. So I have to block, remove the king. I think just because Big Fish has blocked me, I want to play. Just for that reason alone. No, no other actual reason. I just kind of want to play. <clears throat> Although maybe that's a mistake. Alright, it goes there, and I can check, but I think I just drop back. I have knight d4. I also have c4 maybe to hit the knight, which is kind of interesting, actually. C4 takes and rook d5. <clears throat> is c4 a good move or not? I wonder. Interesting concept. C4. Okay, let me think. I have a lot of time here. This is a this is a slow rapid game. C4 is very interesting, actually. C4, knight of six, knight six. Don't know if it's right, but I think I'm gonna do it. I, I kind of want to have some fun. Because now if he takes, I take, take, and I can even take and take and go rookie one. And I think his king might be a little bit open long term once everything is opened up in the center here. Not sure, but I think so at least. Hmm. <clears throat> hmm. I think I just go knight c3 maybe. I have knight a4. <clears throat> I mean, I can't really lose this. That's really the only only thing in my mind. It's like, as long as I can't lose the game, then I should just play on. Because um, I have a chance to knock him out of qualifying. It goes rook d8. Now, I can obviously trade. I thought bishop d3 was fine. But trade knight a4 is kind of interesting. I mean, bishop d3 looks completely reasonable, too. I can just play, like, rook e1. I mean, a3, b4 is another idea I have here that I'm thinking about. I think I'm going to go a3, idea b4. <clears throat> and we'll see what he does here. I don't actually like Black's position, I have to admit. I feel like it's a little bit unpleasant to play. Yeah, I really don't like Black's position here. I think this is kind of bad. <clears throat> Generation. Generation. Oh, 
Oh, let's see what he's gonna do here. I mean, I think, I think I'm doing very well. I think I'm doing great. Again, we'll see what his idea is, because I, I feel like this is problematic for Black. I really do. Plays A5. Now, that move, I saw that move coming here, but I thought that was kind of a bad move. Bishop B6. 95, 95, Bishop A4. So I was thinking maybe I can go here, here. Bishop C7, Rook here, Bishop here. But there might be a 95 and some Bishop A4 at the end, so that's probably not great. I can also play Rook E1, obviously. I mean, 94 bishop a7, c5 is also quite interesting. c5, knight e5, bishop b6, king e8. Now, six, I can play bishop e4. Hmm. b5, knight e8 is also a line. Bishop h7, g6, bishop h4. <clears throat> hmm. I feel like I'm better here, but I have to somehow prove it. How do I prove it? Knight a4 seems like a logical move. Knight g5 can't be right. Knight b5 can't be right. Bishop c2. I mean, knight a4, bishop a7, bishop c2 seems like a pretty reasonable try as well. I mean, it always has bishop b8 at the end. Hmm. C5, bishop b8, bishop b6, takes, takes. <clears throat> Doesn't look quite right. Bishop c2, bishop e8 is not an advantage. I feel like I'm better, but it's hard to prove. Bishop b8. The 94 is just a dead draw. Don't want to play bishop c7. <laughs> hmm, okay, I'm thinking too long here. I kind of have to just move, actually. I'm thinking way too long. I'm just going to go here. Threaten 90, 95. Just keep it simple. I suspect I had better than this, honestly, but I... It doesn't, it doesn't feel right to gamble here. It just doesn't seem right, objectively. I suspect I had an advantage somehow, but I just, I don't want, I don't want to waste tons of time. This is a 10 minute game, no increment, most importantly. And Big Fish, as he already showed against Oparin, is more than willing to try and flag people in dead drawn positions. Okay, he goes knight d4. Wait, that might actually be a very good move. Shoot. Actually, that might just be a very good move. Why did I allow that? We have 95, maybe 95 bishop e8 or something. <clears throat> okay, I don't want to think too long here. I don't want to let this get very messy. A4, d6. <sighs> okay, I guess I just make the draw. Yeah, let's just make the draw. <clears throat> so I have d6 check here at the end, which is very important. If I don't have d6, I could be in some trouble here. I'll take, of course. Probably thinking thinking a little bit too long in that middle game. Try again, played played classical recently, so I'm trying too hard to find perfect moves. So everybody else has already drawn their games. <clears throat> Egrock, Dropstone, Wesley, they've all drawn. So again, I, I should be I should be fine. Vita's already done, he has five and a half. So Vita's really rooting for me to actually play to beat Big Fish. Because if Vita if Big Fish loses, Vita might actually sneak in just barely. So let's see what he does here. I think he has to take. If he doesn't take, I don't really understand what he's playing for. Also, as I realize, his h7 pawn maybe is hanging in all these lines after takes takes because he doesn't have time for g6 because the bishop's under attack. I don't think he can really move the king. I have bishop d6. I mean, that looks like that's way too much. I mean, I think he has to take and hope.
Let's see what happens. <clears throat> it takes, obviously. Bishop a4, d6 is, is my move, of course, because then I connect and I hit that, even though he's attacking the rook. I'm st as I said, I'm threatening h7 because the bishop on d4 is then under attack. So I think this is somewhat unpleasant for black. I don't know if it's like losing or anything, but it feels kind of a little bit un... It doesn't feel like happy times, that's for sure. Goes bishop f6. Now that is kind of, to me, a little bit of a surprising move. Not crazy surprising, but it feels... A little bit dubious because now I think there's some problems with this diagonal too. Oh, I had bishop c7. I am such an idiot. I had bishop c7 and d6. I think that was actually just winning for me. I'm such an idiot. I had this in d6. I think that was actually just winning for me. Now, now I'm still better probably, but it's. I mean, there are no guarantees. I go here. Bishop g5, I always have f4, of course. Oh, that was so stupid of me. I think that was actually just winning. Okay, go here, of course. I can't lose, so that's the good news. Um, and I also probably, I don't know, maybe I have to put the rook on the wrong square, but... Wait, he goes b6. Wait, I didn't think that was the right move. I take g6 and some kind of tricks here, maybe? Very risky to go for that, of course. Wait, I feel like I should have something here. Wait, d6 is not the way I want to play. I'm still up on time. I think I'm just going to go here. Just connect, connect the rooks that I can take on e6 and open it up. Also, I can reroute the bishop to e3. Rook c4, I saw it as a move, but I actually threaten anything if I just go f3? I don't understand. I just play f3. Oh, I could have just taken two. Why didn't, I, why didn't I just take the pawn? What's wrong with me? Kind of misplaying this somewhat. Why didn't I just go takes? Takes and takes. That's so stupid of me. Wait, okay, but I still should be better. Wait, okay. Let's think for a second. Not d6. Bishop e3 looks like a strong concept. <clears throat> Take, take. Six, king of, king of eight. I feel like I'm better somehow, but I don't see a win. Yes, I'll just keep it simple here. No, no need to get, no need to get fancy here. I'm up a minute on the clock and go bishop e3. B3 was kind of an idea, but I guess he just takes. So I guess I'll just go here and attack the pawn. My bishop should be better than his bishops, objectively. It goes b5. Maybe there's even king a2 and b3 to trap it. At the very least, I mean, I can't lose. That's, that's the main thing. As long as I can't lose, I'm going to keep playing this game until the cows come home. He gives up a pawn. That's obviously a reasonable move. See his bishop b2. And I still feel like I should be better, so I'm just going to keep playing on. I see no reason to to not not keep playing on here. <clears throat> He's got a weak pawn in the center. My ops are much better. They're targeting everything from the middle of the board. See, oh, Rook C1 was also Rook C1 was maybe a better move. Rook C1 would have been kind of nasty there. Could have taken a file and kept all the pressure, but oh well. It goes B5. I kind of expected that, but. Wait, now I think I have bishop b6, maybe? <clears throat> Let's go here, take. Bishop b4 check, of course. Question is, do I take with a pawn or the bishop? Also not an easy decision. My instinct is that I should actually take with the pawn. I hope this is not a mistake, but it feels right somehow to have an outside pawn in an endgame, maybe? Okay, he wants bishop. He wants bishop e3. Just go here. Try to trade some bishops. Again, endgame is always winning with an outside pawn. Let's go here. <clears throat> and now, of course, I guess I just. I do have f4 maybe. <clears throat> you now let's just do it. Because if here I have rook d5 to hit the bishop. Trying to win this game, trying to knock him out of qualification. 
trying really hard to knock the big fish out of the top eight if I can. <clears throat> See what he does. He goes C4. I mean, of course I can take. Why not? Yeah, I have rook D7. I mean, even bishop D3 is reasonable, but I guess... Oh, wait. He's hitting H2, I just realized. I have to be a little bit careful. Okay, let's just put the pawn on H3. So what's his threat? Bishop C3, I guess, is his threat. Bishop D3 looks like a reasonable move. Maybe not the best move. Bishop E4, Bishop C3. Not King C1, because of Bishop F4, of course. Have to find a move, though. It's not easy to play. I have check and rook b7. That's my idea, at least. Because so I have check, and I mean, I, I feel like I have counterplay. I mean, six logical moves. I just have to not blunder, basically. Let's go here, attack the bishop. I don't think that was a good move, though. I've actually kind of misplayed this a little bit. It's not so easy to play anymore. I'll go here. But I I've got to try to start pressing him on the clock a little bit too. Okay, rook c5 is a move. Rook c4 is also quite reasonable. <clears throat> As is rook d2. I think I'm just going to go here, maybe here and here. Here. Trying really hard to put the heat on him in this end game. He goes bishop e5. Oh, that feels wrong. I guess I'll go here, try trade. I think he has to take. If he doesn't take, he just loses. And I mean, this outside pawn, I mean, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna flag him at the very least. Check. Um, hmm. Let's go here and rook c5 maybe. I always have bishop c2 here. This is just very simple. I'm just going to simplify the position and give him no no chances. I mean, 53 seconds, there's almost no way that he's going to survive this. I'll just go here and attack this one. Kind of let him off the hook a little bit, though. I shouldn't have played it like this. Go here. Bishop g1. Wait, now I can check him to f5. I can also just go a4, I guess. Let's just go a4, a5. King f4, so he's trying to go to g3. So I say, no, sir, your king doesn't get in. If e3, I check on c5. I should start running the a pawn again. Now I go here to trade the bishops and end the game. Now, okay, rook c2, I mean, every move wins. Just, just rook c2 and just a7. Poor big fish, he misses out. I mean, he's, he's going to miss out on qualifying. Go here, guard the pawn. Oh, did I allow some trick here? I might have allowed some trick. Oh, did I actually allow a trick? Maybe I did. Wait, what did I just do? Actually, I think I kind of just misplayed this. It's still winning, but kind of unnecessary. And he loses by one tempo. A GG's, game over. There we go, we got the dub. We knock him out. All right, we got the dub, you guys. Big dubs, big dubs. <laughs>